Hey guys, welcome back to Combat to Hyperion, a series where I can only use combat money making methods to unlock a Hyperion. Now, in the last episode, I said that for every subscriber I gained on that video, I would do one Arachne, meaning that if, for example, I gained a thousand subscribers, I would have to do 200 hours of Arachnes. So, pretty much in this episode, we're going to be getting to that later. Um, the same deal for this episode though, for every subscriber I gain, I'm going to do one Arachne. So in the last video we gained 88, I'm going to be doing that this episode, and we'll get to that a little bit later. Now usually in these videos, what I'd like to do is go over some like guides for you guys in terms of money making methods and other tips and tricks for the game, which is what I'm going to do in this episode. However, it is going to be more focused on upgrading your armor set after we get through a little bit of initial work at the start of the video. Alright guys, so already on my island there is plenty of upgrades I can make. I mean, first of all, I only have 5 minion slots down, which is a massive problem that I'll work on later. However, for now, the minions have just unlocked my colossal accessory bag, which allows me 6 additional slots. So, avoiding these items because they're not combat related, so I can't use it for money. If we go in here, so as you can see, yeah, 6 slots. Um, obviously this would be way faster with all more minions, but anyway, coming in here, we have 330 magical power. So, let's see how much money it takes and how much additional magic power we can get from these six slots. Now, there we go. We spent around about seven and a half million coins. And if we come over here, the current magic power is 27 higher than previously. Now, obviously we could have bought more expensive talismans. However, you know, early game, you don't need to buy the more expensive ones because eventually you will have to buy the cheaper ones. So for now, I think it's a pretty good purchase and we're still gaining a good amount of additional strength and crit damage. Okay, so the next tip is one that I'm sure we're all aware of, however, sometimes we probably need a reminder of how effective it can be. Now, in the last episode, I found out that I was actually foraging level 0 up until episode 11, and if we look in here, getting foraging 10 in itself gives you an additional 10 strength, and then every level past level 15 gives you 2 strength on top of that, so level 25 gives you about 35 strength. Now, just getting to level 10 is the equivalent of putting fuming hot potato books on your armor, so it is definitely something that you should do. Look, I hate foraging as much as the next guy, but I have to admit that literally took like less than two minutes to do. Just buy yourself a tree cavitator, buy yourself a god pot, and you will gain the equivalent strength of putting six million coins worth of fuming hot potato books on every single weapon for free. And you gain like coins and you also gain skill XP and sky look XP. So I know those people are definitely sitting here with like foraging level two. So please just do a little bit. Do it for one hour. You could probably get foraging like 20. Alright, so we're on to the next part, which is the more significant part in, I guess, the progression of combat in the game. And this is the part where you're spending your money on armor. Now, obviously, if you're just grinding up bowels or even possibly arachnes, then all you really need is, like, hyper, terror, and werewolf armor, because there is either a damage cap or there is no damage applied. So, there would really be no reason other than recombobulating the armor. Now, if you're doing something like dungeons, then any armor that's ample enough for you to complete the dungeon run at a good amount of time, like the Shadow Assassin armor I have, is good enough. And then obviously you have the Crimson armor here, which is pretty good. Um, I can't use Necrons yet, so it's pretty, pretty decent. However, I am going to be upgrading the Crimson armor right now, just a little bit. I'm going to show you guys some cheap upgrades that you can make to increase your damage pretty significantly. So let's get on to that. Alright, so I'm going to be showing you pretty much what like the best armor in terms of crimson is to buy. So what you want to come over here is, to, what you want to do is come over here, and if you look in here, you'll see that if you search for example a crimson chestplate, there's like a variety of attributes that, I mean, some of them are good and some of them aren't really that good. Like, I don't know why you would want 1.5, you know, extra strength, extra defense against undead mobs. However, if you look through here, what you want to do is obviously look for one that increases your damage. And that is something like dominance that increases it by 1.5% per level when at full health. Now, obviously not at all times you're going to be at full health, but the other alternative is when you're less than 20% of your health. So I feel like this is the one that you're probably more likely to be at. Now, what you want to do is, as you can see, there's an X next to it for me. That means that I haven't unlocked it, and the way to unlock Dominance is by doing a tier 3 Kudra, which unfortunately I don't meet the requirements for. I'm still going to buy the armor set because, I mean, I'm only like a thousand reputation away, so it shouldn't be that difficult, and I'll make the armor set just for the point of the video. Okay, so right now we have the armor set here, uh, the Crimson Armor, and it has Dominance here in every piece. It probably only cost me around about 4 million coins max. I don't think many of the pieces were even over a million coins in that case, but the leggings were kind of expensive because sometimes, you know, the attributes just aren't there. But there's still a lot of upgrades I'm going to be making to the set, so stick around because they're about to get a lot stronger for a lot cheaper. Alright guys, so really quickly, everyone's favorite Skyblock duo, Duke and Modcroft here, and we're here to announce that not only do I have to do one Arachne for every subscriber I gain from this video, but I'm also going to be giving away a free rank to someone in the comments when any video in this series is 500 likes. We've already given away about 5 ranks, and there's still around about 8 to be claimed, so go check out the other videos as well after this one, but make sure to comment your IGN and be subscribed, because if you win and you're not subscribed, it's kind of going to suck because you're going to miss out on a free rank. 
All right, guys, incredible news towards the update. Um, someone on my Discord has just messaged me with a screenshot. I'm going to hopefully put it on screen right now. And it basically says it's time to hear saying that the Dragon Rush update has not been cancelled, which is the greatest news of all time because um, I was kind of low on money. I invested like four bill into the update and I also invested 100 million coins into Luna skins. Now, the Luna skins have only gone up 500 million coins. So um, I would have been really poor if my four billion coin investment didn't also go up 300%. Okay, so I'm gonna go buy a thousand Crimson Essence and we're gonna see how many stars I can put on my armor. Now, it will eventually cost a few coins, however, I will add that to the grand total and it'll probably add up to about 1.5 million coins, but let's see the stat boost that we can get. Okay, so right now we're looking at the Crimson Armor and each piece has gotten six stars. It costs about 1.5 mil, which is only like 300,000 coins per piece for a 12% stat boost. Um, I have another piece of Crimson Armor here, so as you can see, Okay, so um, basically what happened is Skylock is right now in maintenance. I'm going to be using clips that I've already recorded to finish off this video. However, um, this unfortunately means that for now I won't be able to do Arachnes. Um, I'm going to add the Arachnes from the last video, 88, and the Arachnes from this video. And in a week, I'm going to do them all together in one big run because unfortunately Skylock just went down for maintenance. And I probably won't be making any videos on this profile unless it's combat related. However, even though Skyblock has just gone down, I want you to stick with me because the information I'm going to provide you with is no less valuable now that I'm doing it on the Skyblock um, API website. So pretty much all my pieces right now had Dominance 3, which grants a 4.5% additional burnt, like damage, except for the Gas Cloaks because I couldn't find any well-priced ones. So what I have is obviously Crimson Armor, Magma Necklace, Glowstone Gauntlet, Gas Cloak, and Blaze Belt. These were the cheapest ones that I could find with Dominance on them. And I'm going to show you guys in a second how you can find really cheap pieces that have Dominance on them. So pretty much right now it is giving an additional 9, 18, 27. It's giving about an additional 34% damage, which is additive, which means it's like 1.3 times damage. Um, which is still good, considering this set probably only costs around about 6 million coins more than normal Crimson. I think an additional 30% damage is definitely worth it here. Um, if you checked how much this would be worth in... Imagine every single thing, like your weapon and everything, is increased by 30%, which is really good. And we're going to even increase this higher by using a Discord bot, which will show us the cheapest pieces of dominance to buy. Okay, so we're on the Kuju Gang Discord right now. I will have that linked in the description. So what I want you to run is slash AP, which is attribute price. And then I want you to put a singular attribute in. For us, it is going to be dominance. If you press enter, then it will show you the auction house prices of every single level of dominance on every piece for the lowest price. Now, when you're leveling up, say, for example, my Crimson Helmet, you can use a hollow helmet with the same level of dominance to increase the level on your Crimson Helmet, if that makes sense. So, you know, you can combine a hollow helmet and a Crimson Helmet together, and it will increase it, like, in the same way enchantments work. If you increase... If you get a Dominance 3 Hollow Helmet and a Dominance 3 Crimson Helmet, it will make a Dominance 4 Crimson Helmet, as long as you put the Crimson Helmet on the left side. So yeah, make sure you do that. Make sure you don't accidentally make a Dominance 4 Hollow Helmet, because that'd be really inconvenient. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe. So I have to do a Rack Knees and so you have a chance to enter the rank giveaway. And hopefully there will be an update coming out soon that I can make videos on.